Good morning. Welcome to London Breed's Irish Flag Raising and to the 170th St. Patrick's Day season event opener. First off, I want to thank the mayor, her staff of Marone Foster, Sean Ellsburn, and our volunteer Kevin Birmingham for coordinating this event. I also want to welcome um, the Consul General, Robert O'Driscoll, as well as our Grand Marshal for this year, Con Lyons, and to thank his wife, Brenda, and the whole family for allowing us to honor Con. I also want to thank my wife, Mary, for allowing me all the time away, spent away from her to organize all these events, which brings me to the rest of the board. They're the ones that do all the work, and I want to thank each and every one of them. For this year, it's been about adapting and changing. And a lot of this has been um, tough, but our board has risen to the occasion. They've put their foot forward, and they're getting everything done. The changes we've made in the past, we have an in-person Grand Marshal dinner. This year we're gonna have a grab and go where you go out to this, the Irish Center, United Irish Cultural Center on Friday, March 12th to pick up a grab and go dinner. But you do have to um, order online through our website by March 8th, which is Monday. We also are having a virtual St. Patrick's Day Mass at St. Patrick's Church at 9 a.m. And then we kick off our virtual parade at 11.30. All this you can see on our website, United Irish Societies. It's UISSF.org. UISSF.org. I want to thank the community for submitting all the videos, all the pictures, so that we could have a successful parade. I've been watching this a few times, and each time it gets better. And I'm really happy that the community came to help us to put on a successful event. This year, we're honoring all those who protect and serve. And that definitely goes in lines with the Irish tradition of faith, family, and community service. So I invite everybody to get involved, be part of the St. Patrick's Day season, because this time of year, everyone is invited to be Irish. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh, I'd like to say hello to everybody out there. This is probably the kickoff to our St. Patrick's festivities. We're here in front of City Hall just after the raising of the Irish flag. All these events would not be possible without the great work of the United Irish Societies. Robert O'Driscoll, the Consul General, and also the Mayor and Health Department, Mayor London Breed. I'd also like to say thank you to the Rebel Cock Association who nominated me and also the San Francisco UGA who also nominated me for this. Now all I can say to everyone is enjoy the festivities with your family and please stay safe and healthy during the whole process. Thank you and have a great time. Gorgia Ginusla, friends, um, here at the flag raising at San Francisco City Hall. Uh, you can see the green, white, and orange is currently flowing there. And here at the Grand Marshal, Con Lyons. Con Lyons, Con Lyons, so good. We celebrated them twice uh, last year and again and again this year with uh, Mayor London Reid and uh, Charlotte Schultz. It was a really wonderful experience. Uh, for me, St. Patrick's Day is really about kind of four big things. It's about one, it's about celebrating the heritage, the Irish American heritage here. Huge heritage, 170 years of the parade this year. As long as there's been a city incorporated here, there's been a St. Patrick's Day parade every March, almost every March. Uh, it's really, really important too. We celebrate Irish people have achieved amazing things and 
Con Lyons is a real champion of the community, the way he's invested in youth sports in particular, and it's great that he's been recognised here again today. There is Irish arts and culture, music, and there's so much stuff going on over the next uh, over the next month. I hope you can uh, participate in and, and join things uh, virtually. And fourth, of course, these enduring ties between Ireland uh, and the rest of the world and here in Ireland and San Francisco uh, and politics and people to people connections obviously economic connections as well. I was a little bit sad out there today, not going to lie to you uh, obviously a year since we last did this and it's been a very difficult year and we've lost some really amazing people uh, over the last year and they were certainly in my thoughts uh, as, the flag, as the flag was raised. I think as we look forward to this St. Patrick's Day parade as a Patrick's Day season, uh, I am very conscious of the need for us to um, to honour those who we lost this year. Uh, also, uh, to celebrate the resilience of our community over the last year, uh, and to make sure over the St Patrick's Day period that we celebrate it in a responsible manner, in line with public health guidelines, um, and making sure that we're protecting the most vulnerable people in our community. Um, but there is so much going on and I want to pay tribute to the United Irish Societies, to Liam Frost and his amazing board who, as, as he says, does all the, do all the work uh, on everything they've put together for this uh, St. Patrick's Day period. There are events happening online uh, constantly uh, over the month of March and really there is no reason not to celebrate uh, the incredible uh, Irish, Irish American tradition here in the Bay Area. I'll be joining in the consulate, you can follow us at, at Ireland NSF for all the events that we're organising, uh, please do and wherever you are, uh, please have a happy St. Patrick's Day, La Fela Pora Cunni of Agus Buen Salt Austin, Gurum Lagwiv, Slán Agus Bangu there you go.